it's been very intense like the past this past time especially with like the covid pandemic it's very it's it's very it's a very intense thing um but i mean intense things breed beautiful things um and it's about getting through them like living became very very difficult in that time like in this time it's become i've found a way to share the art and to share beauty but for a while living was extremely difficult just having the droning on of every single day and i got to the point where like normally you're right you you have work you're scheduled from here to here you go in and you do it and for me i i need alone time and i needed that alone time to be able to work and to find some sense of peace in myself and then to share that with other people but it's easy to say that you love everybody when you're alone mm-hmm. you have to be around people to love people you have to be able to share things with people to actually love people and for a while I was in such deep isolation that like this own world that I had created for myself was like tormenting me. where I was like I would wake up um at like 10 p.m and like work through the entire um night so like I would I was working during the night and um, like not seeing much sunlight at all, just constantly going. And I do like 12 hour periods of just painting straight like this. Like if you go, go to the paintings. So it, this one right here, right on the front, um, it's two plywood panels. It's like mixed media. Um, I did collaging with paper and Polaroids and oil paint it's flowers i call it the flower dance and i did it in two 12 hour periods straight painting like one Mm. day after the other and it's just like wake up do yoga eat a little bit paint until like and i was like i i was sacrificing sleep i was sacrificing eating just to paint like constantly so so you said that uh in the beginning that's when you found the 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 biggest struggle sort adaptation to to the new kind of life that we all had so yeah. and and you said that it could be extremely difficult yes give me examples of situations where you find yourself with the struggle with being difficult how do you well, manage those situations how do you deal with them how do you overcome them well, what I did you learn from those situations i i didn't want to live at all like i i was at the point where like living was so difficult that i would have rather not lived and like that was very intense for me and lots of people are feeling that now like i had a friend three nights ago and she killed herself and like that's what's happening now is people feel trapped and they're so people need love they need some kind of freedom and expression and that's what that's what people need and for me that's what i needed and people need each other your friend uh, that made that decision how old was she my age she was, was one of my okay so it was your age and yeah very good that's friends and it hit me hard like i heard like two mornings ago and then i got straight to painting or i mean i didn't go straight to painting i sat there and i just kind of like took it in and felt it um i did some like yoga meditation and then i had to paint and i was like i'm gonna paint to sunrise like that's the only thing i can think because like i need to paint to sunrise and I, I went to paint the sunrise and it started turning into her slowly and I'm I'm going and I'm painting and I'm like, oh, this is looking more and more like her. And um, in the end, it became a portrait of her. Um, it's on the Instagram if you want to go to it. But I it was it was a very difficult thing um, because I felt I had to embody that mind of people today like what drives a person to kill themselves it's very intense but if you can go through that and come out of that the amount of life you can give is insurmountable it's endless um like while we have life we have the right and i think the duty to honor that life with love and to make something beautiful of it but right now it's very difficult to do that um but for me i find i find that freedom and that love in painting and sharing those paintings with people so so 
this is definitely very intense, but what, I mean, you said for you is painting, and then that kind of brings your mind to a different state and, and kind of just put all your effort into, into your art, which becomes a, a, a form of uh, your expression. It's not like you say, I'm going to paint this. You just let your art flow into the painting. And something, I'm assuming many times you don't really know. I mean, sometimes you kind of plan what you're going to do, but many times you don't really know what the end product is going to be because you just let your art flow. And like you said, with this girl, you started doing something that became, ended up being a portrait. Yes. But you didn't intend to do a portrait from the beginning. Yeah. You basically were just kind of letting your emotions just portray or flow into the canvas, basically. Yeah. I, so, so, but my, my question was going to be, Obviously, you guys, you're young, and you know you have a whole life ahead of you, and 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 I know that this, I can't even compare this to anything in the past. I mean, I mean, yeah, wars, whatever, um, do are very intense too, but this is something that is affecting everybody in all, in society, in all Globally. over the all over the world, basically. So, and and it's totally unannounced. And the worst thing is that you feel like you have no power to make a decision that people are making decisions for you that are totally one size fits all type thing. And um, uh, so I, I understand it's, it's really, really hard, but at the same time, how did you find, like in my case, I would say, you know what? Tomorrow is gonna be better. What if tomorrow is, is the best day? of my life, I'm, I don't wanna miss it, you know? So that kind of gives you that motivation. Sometimes you, I mean, I, I, everybody feels good days or bad days. Yeah. And some days you feel like really shitty and all that stuff and it's like, fuck, what is this? But you always think, oh, what if tomorrow is the day that I kind of win the lottery of life? Whatever that is, I guess I, it's, this happens and this happens. So that kind of motivates me, like the sun will come up tomorrow, that tomorrow is gonna be great. Um, what? How did you find strength from within when you feel like, really shitty like 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 his heart you know yeah i i think that's beautiful like looking to the next day it's like sunrises really exactly i i've been doing lots of series of sunrises for that reason like i have a whole sunrise journal like like this one um where i just do sunrise after sunrise after sunrise and every morning i go out i paint the sunrise um i go to this lake nearby and i sit there and <laughs> what's <laughs> what's most um amazing about it is it doesn't have to really mean anything um it can just be beautiful and that's life giving is to just experience something holy that is beautiful so i go out there and i sit in the grass and um ants are in the grass um they're biting me and but it, you know it's it's all right and there's a lake there and there's ducks and they come and uh, the geese will come and they'll swoop down and there's a woman named Jill and she'll come by and she feeds the geese and the ducks and I like did a drawing of her and I gave it to her um, her and her husband and it was it's great I it's it's finding these little moments mm -hmm. in life that are always around but your eyes must be open to them um, like right now I look at the way like the light falls into the room through the windows and on the blinds and like the lines that creates in the pattern and how that's slowly shifting. And then I look mm -hmm. at the colors and how I see in here, like the colors like almost have, a, I mean the shadows almost have like a blue, like a bluish yellow, um, tint to them, which is really strange to me. Um, but I think it's beautiful and all those things end up inspiring, um, the work that I create cause it's natural. And, um, it's, but it's about finding moments that are kind of, they almost seem like they're hidden between like the cracks of life and your experience. Mm -hmm. um, but it's one of my friends, MJ, she, uh, for a little while, just kept repeating to herself, like open your eyes a little wider. And like, even just when you kind of just like literally open your eyes a little wider, you, you see the world around you. Um, and if you're open to that, you see the beauty in it and that keeps you going. That's enough. Um, you know the sunrise is going to rise every single day. 